everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Today I'm going to be creating this look for you guys, which is inspired by Nikki Tutorials. I saw her holiday tutorial on this recently and I thought it was such a beautiful makeup look, so why not create it, especially because I actually had one of the exact pigments that she used, so I was like, it's perfect. If you guys would like to see how I did achieve this makeup look, then please keep on watching and let's get straight into the tutorial. So first things first is prepping my skin. So as per usual, because I want to be glowy and this product helps me achieve exactly that. I'm going to go in with my MAC Strobe Cream. I do apply this over my whole face. A lot of people like to just put it on the heights of their face, but um, yeah, I like that all over kind of dewy look. So I use it on my whole face as my... Primer. So for foundation today, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the dewy and smooth one in the shade 225 Medium Buff, which is what I use when I have got a fake tan on. And to get that extra little bit of a glow, I'm going to be taking my Iconic London Liquid Illuminator Drop. These ones are just the original ones. I'm only going to put one drop in with my foundation, just because a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to take my foundation brush and mix that one in. I'm just going to start buffing this into my skin with a buffing brush and then after that I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to make sure it's all seamless and get any of the excess foundation off the top. For concealer I'm going to be going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm almost out of this and it's a sad time but we're going to make it work. I'm in the shade NW20. I'm just going to dot this one under my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead and on my chin as well. I'm just going to be taking a damp beauty blender and blending that one out. I would like to blend my concealer up on the heights of my cheekbones a little bit because I think it adds even more to the highlighter when you're done it kind of all comes together and makes the heights of your cheekbones pop even more. To set down the areas that I have just applied all that concealer I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Pressed Powder which is a translucent powder. I have used it once or twice and I've been pretty impressed with it so far. Because this is completely a translucent it's going to keep the brightness in those areas where you put the concealer so that is why I always go for a translucent powder when I'm setting down any areas that I've put concealer. So to set down the areas of my face that I didn't apply concealer, I'm going to be using the NYX No Filter Pressed Powder. This is brand spanking new. I've never tried this before, so it's a little bit of a first impressions, um, but I've heard really good things, so we're going to give it a whirl. I'm move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to probably skip through this part because you have seen me do it in that many videos. I'm going to be using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I cannot walk past this product. Like, I've gone through about five or six of them, so I use them every single time I'm doing my makeup at the moment. It's the shade Brunette. <laughs> thin eyebrows, they're not full at all, so I'm constantly using my Benefit Gimme Brow, which I adore. It's got fibres in it, so it adds a little bit more oomph to your eyebrows. So I've zoomed you guys in so that you can see everything a little bit better, but the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking my Paint Pot, like always, because I feel like I just can't do eye makeup without this product. I'm going to be taking my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. <laughs> For my eye makeup today, I'm going to be taking the Chloe Morello and Ciate London palette, which I've only used in one video. The shade here called My Tribe to set down that eyeshadow base. The color that I'm going to go in with as my transition shade is the shade Wedge from MAC, which is just a matte eyeshadow. So this is one of my favorite transition sh shades for brown smoky eyes. And then to deepen that up even more, I'm going to go into the shade On Fire from the Chloe Morello palette and I'm going to deepen that up even more. Once I've got that down, I'm just taking that same blending brush that I used for the first shade and blending it all together. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Queen B and I'm going to pack this one onto my lid and blend it out as well. I packed it on into the place that I want it and now I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend it out. Alright, so now that I have got the intensity of the brown on the lid, I'm going to do the spotlight part of the eye. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is going back in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I've just got a regular concealer brush here. I'm not going to be cutting my whole crease or anything like that. I'm just creating a spot in the center that goes above my natural crease to create the spotlight to put the lighter shimmery shade on. I'm mapping out where my crease is and I'm just going to go slightly above that. I've swapped brushes because that one wasn't doing the job. You can 
see now when I look forward you can see that it is above my natural crease and that is what we want. I'm going to go back in with that Queen Bee shade and I'm just going to put this on the lash line and kind of blend it up because I want the spotlight to be quite center. I don't want the spotlight shimmer to go all the way down to my lash line. Then I'm just going to take a pencil brush that I've got here and blend that one out a little bit. And now I'm going to be going in with a vacay and shine bright together as the spotlight color on my eye. Also not taking this shade right up to the top of the cut crease that I created. It's going to go almost to the top but just leave a very very tiny line at the top for a different shade. And what I'm going to do for the top part, the tiny little top part of that cut crease that I left there is apply the Peaches and Cream pigment in the shade Gatsby. It is to die for. That same detailer brush that I packed the color onto my lid with. I'm just going to wet it, pick up a tiny bit and apply it right on that very top line above the spotlight. Picking up that pencil brush and just blending that edge out. I'm going to take the shade Dainty, this one right here, and I'm going to use it on my brow bone as my brow bone. Take that detailer brush again, and we're going to apply the dark brown shade mixed with the lighter brown shade on my lower lid. I'm going to be taking my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter, which I would show you, but... Um, it's shattered, so I have to be super careful with it. I'm going to highlight my inner corner with this one. Pick up a very, very small amount of that Gatsby shade and apply it right in the center of my lower lash line. What I'm going to do is apply my mascara, so I'm going to be curling my lashes. I'm going to be using the Benefit Their Real Mascara Duo, so I'm going to be using the primer first, which is a brown tinted primer, and then the mascara over the top. For my lashes today, I'm going to be taking the Allure London number 149 Exaggerate Lashes. A little tip for you guys when you do put your lashes on is to always pinch them together like this and then it will bring your natural lashes and the fake lashes together really well and you won't be able to tell the difference. That is the eye makeup done so let's move on to the rest of the face. The first thing I'm going to be doing is contouring my face and for that I'm just going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit which I am in love with, we all know this. next thing I'm going to do is go in with this shade here, which I know looks like it hasn't been touched because it really hasn't. I've only just realized recently how nice the color is as a bronzer. I'm going to take this shade here and bronze up my face. I just kind of hit this all around the outer perimeters of my face. I like those areas of my face to look nice and bronzed. And for my highlight today, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Love Light Ray of Light Highlighter. It's got a slightly peachy undertone, um, but it's really, really subtle, so you can use it for so many different looks. I just love it. So when I do my highlighter, I kind of take it in a C shape around my cheekbones. So I do the heights of my cheekbones and drag it up around the tops of my eyebrows. And then I'm also going to take it down on the tip of my nose, just a tiny bit, and on my cupid's bow. The last thing I'm going to be doing is baking my contour just to make it nice and crisp. And while I leave that there to bake, I'm going to line my lips and apply my liquid lipstick. To bake my contour, I'm just taking my Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder and a Beauty Blender and just doing a line directly under the bronzer. For my lips today, I'm going to be lining them with my Rimmel London Terra Masu Stay On Lip Colouring Pencil. I love these. it nice and crisp without making it look too sharp. For my lipstick today I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Melted Chocolate Longwear Lipstick and this literally, literally smells like chocolate. And last but not least I'm going to be setting my face with the Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetics Peach Setting Spray. I think I said that completely back to front. I should have said Gerard Cosmetics Peach Setting Spray. That's right. And that has brought me to the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I love how the look has come out. I feel like I'm definitely going to be wearing it to a certain event this summer holidays for sure. Love the halo eye. That is definitely something I'm going to try out with different colors and different looks and stuff like that. So 
Thank you to Nikki Tutorials for giving me the inspiration for this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed the video and the tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to my channel as well if you did enjoy it and then you will not miss another video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week in my next video. Bye. Hello. Hello. Whoa. I don't look so orange. Because this is completely...